day 86 and that's my view from outside of my tent it's about a quarter to seven sun's poking up over that mountain beautiful sun today headed into town so we're gonna get packed up and see what's going on in Front Royal alrighty guys it's about a quarter to eight it's May the 2nd Thursday 2019 and I'll tell you what tractor magic Mike and underdog we are done with the Shenandoahs we are gonna go ahead and put our permit in that box and we are officially done with the shinnies man what a great trip the only thing boy I tell you what I, I, we're gonna see a bear we hey, we didn't see one in the shinnies hey but we're hoping to see one somewhere so but the Shenandoahs hey man you were awesome awesome now we're officially leaving hey we are out tractor magic mike underdog shenny's complete you were awesome yeah. another, milestone. another milestone like i said we didn't see a bear but didn't see a bear. yeah i did i seen a one hit by a car yeah oh yeah there you go yeah that ain't good all right, we'll save that. Uh, we'll save that for another uh, episode. All righty. <laughs> well, we're back in the Shenies. It uh, seems the uh, hostel that we're going to early this morning. We should have took that little uh, Compton Gap Road and uh, walked down about a half mile. And don't tell me tractor didn't tell me so. <laughs> uh, but you know what? The Shenandoahs were so awesome. Hey, we're going to go ahead and walk them again. We're yeah, we're flip-flopping. <laughs> uh, we're flip-flopping the shinnies. So, uh, hey, we're going to head down to this Compton Road, get down about a half mile. Thank God this thing is nice and flat, so uh, I'm not going to have a Betty White moment. <laughs> but, welcome back to the Shenandoahs. <laughs> uh, all righty. Well, as soon as we get down to the road, we'll see what we're going to do, get some food, and, uh, hey, get cleaned up a little bit and do what we do. Alrighty, guys. Well, we're back at the trailhead. Well, the only thing is still May 2nd. <laughs> we went into uh, the Terrapin. And we just couldn't get a shuttle into town. Nobody was available. So we did laundry. We uh, took a shower, got cleaned up. We left him uh, his money in a, in, a snack, in a snack box. So uh, decided to get out of there. We're going to head down to uh, 522. And uh, we'll get a ride into town. And we're probably going to get a hotel. We were planning on staying at uh, Mountain Home, but for some reason they are just booked today. And Scott over there, he, uh, he's been more than helpful to try to, you know, get us somewhere. And he's, he's a really great guy over there at Mountain Home. I actually, well, we all wish we were staying there. It's a great place. But he's booked up and there's nothing you can do about that. So good, good for those guys. So we're headed down to 522. Got about uh, a little less than three miles to go. And uh, we'll see about getting in town. Because I'll tell you what, we were all three looking forward to a fat hiker breakfast. So I guess we'll do a little fat hiker lunch. So, headed on into town. Hey, also too, on a sidebar, uh, Front Royal has uh, a trolley. And we did that trolley um, in a town a few towns back. And it was 50 cents. And I'll tell you what, if, it, if it's anything like that, they uh, pick over at they pick up over at uh, 522 Front Royal, and uh, they pick up at uh, their pickup times are 9:45 and 2:20. So if you want to get in town for 50 cents, boy, that's the way to go right there. All right, well, we're doing a little part of the Shenies again, and uh, hey, we should be down there, uh, you know, a lickety split. All right, we're out. Passing the old uh, Shenny sign up box. Tractor's leaving the Shenny's again for the second time.
Well, we're officially out of the Shenandoahs for the second time today. Not many people can flip-flop twice in one day, but we did it. <laughs> yeah, in just a couple hours, we just flip-flopped the Shenny's. <laughs> but, officially out again. That's it. Oh. That's it. Well, we're going to head down this little rock face. This way. Yep, that way. Real time on the AT right here. Don't let your children see this. Yep. It's a PG channel. Yep. Don't try this at home, folks. We're professionals. 900 miles. <laughs> uh, 1,300 to go. We got a long way to go. We ain't even halfway there yet. We're getting closer, though. But this is real. Yeah. But this is real time on the AT right here. These are my feet on the trail. Not too rocky. We've seen rockier. Ugh. So I hop down that little thing. Oh, Magic doing a little boulder scramble. We're starving. Had no breakfast, had no coffee this morning. I'll tell you, we're ready to get the smash on. This might be the second morning on the AT we haven't had coffee, and the one being over there at that Skyland Resort. <laughs> Uh, alrighty guys, that's enough AT real time for you. I don't need to break an ankle and uh, I'm going to turn this thing off. We're going to get down this little scramble. Here's a nice little stealth spot, 969.4 right here. Pitch a couple in there. Probably clear that up a little bit too. You'd be good. Yep. I'm not sure where water's at. So just kind of look at AWOL and look at uh, gut hooks. But 969.4. Good little stealthy spot. Alrighty guys. We're at the Smithsonian's Jurassic Park. And that's just part of the fence that's down. I'll tell you what. We might see something cross over today. This is just like out of the movie Jurassic Park, I'll tell you. Crazy. Well, let's see if we see anything. See if we see anything better than a bear. That'd be awesome. But hopefully on the other side of that fence. That fence goes on for a while. They got trees down on it. Holes in the fence. I don't know. I think I might see something. I think I might see something that got out of the fence. Sounds like he's coming up. Right. <laughs> he just escaped from the Jurassic Park. This is the first time anybody's ever seen him out in the wild in the daytime. <laughs> He's highly dangerous. He's highly dangerous. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, pop out of the woods, and this is what we're looking at right here. Alrighty, we're hiking home. Well, we're hearing there's trail magic up here. Oh my God. Is that breakfast in a bag? Oh man, it's BBR's up here. 
Holy moly. Look at all that stuff. Man. There's some trail magic down there today. Thank you whoever left that. That is awesome. Awesome, thank you. Well, whoever left all this trail magic, thank you so much. Got crackers, Pringles, like Magic said, apples, Dr. Peppers, colas, PBRs. Oh my God. Water. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you, angels. Well, I guess we're looking at a little like a 12, 16 to go, I guess. I think it's a little bit more this year. We're walking them. Alrighty guys, a little uh, downtown Main Street, Front Royal. Got a little general store, the old Stokes. Alvin B. Stokes. Oh, Alvin B. Stokes. Yes, I stand corrected. Main Street Market? Yep, the old marketplace. A little coin laundry. We got a little feed mill. We're just looking for a place to eat. We're looking for the blue blue wing frog. Oh, the pancake house. Darn it. Are they closed? Closed on Tuesday and only open till 2. We might be there in the morning. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I wonder if that blue building is the blue wing frog. Well, Tractor went back to go get his uh, raincoat, and now the sun comes out. <laughs> we are going to have to go into this uh, Main Street Market. That looks pretty cool. Check that out. But just walking down Main Street here in uh, Front Royal, we got to find the old uh, wing frog. We got old CNC frozen treats. He said that was some. Scott from Mountain Home said that was some pretty good uh, ice cream in there. He said, uh, ask for some harassment. That's a flavor of ice cream. Uh, we're over here at Chester. I think we got to take a right. Back home, my brother-in-law, he would love this. He's got his own little restaurant in Front Royal, Old Frank's. There you go, buddy. Hey, and Frank, hey, my brother-in-law, he can cook too, believe it. Hey, he can cook and barbecue. Oh, we got the old pawn shop, instant cash. I got to see what I can get rid of in my bag. Maybe I can pawn some of that stuff. All right, guys, the Virginia Beer Museum right here. Hey, if you're looking for it, it's right here in Front Royal, Main Street downtown. They got the old uh, Warren Rifles Confederate Museum over here on Chester Street. Go in there. That's pretty cool. They got a lot of museums down here in Front Royal. They got the Warren Heritage Security Museum. Tractor, you ought to be in a museum. Yep, they... Tractor museum? Oh, wait, I thought that was a wax museum. Anybody spoke. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a wax... I thought that was a wax statue of Tractor. <laughs> he would have been melted. Oh, uh, he would have been... Yeah, today he would have been melted. But they got the Warren Heritage... Oh, Society. I said Security. Museum. The Ivy Lodge Museum and Gift Shop. Boy, you talk about the perfect hostel right here. That's pretty cool, huh? That's pretty wicked. Yeah, that is that is something else. That is cool. Right here on Chester Street. Is that pretty sweet? That's right on. Alrighty, guys. Well, we just got out of the uh, Blue Wing Frog. Had a burger. 
Dragger had a burger. Mike had the uh, death by pork sandwich, and uh, Magic said the uh, death by pork sandwich was really good. The burger, hey, 13 bucks. Uh, nah, skip it. Uh, I can't really recommend that place. We went there on a recommendation, but uh, uh, hey, sometimes they're a hit. You know, sometimes they're a miss. You know, you try something new, but uh, I can't really uh, recommend a place. Pricey for what it was. I think they tried a little bit too much to gourmet a burger up. And uh, I'm not really a gourmet burger kind of guy. I'll tell you what, give me a greasy burger, medium rare on a grill with some uh, lettuce, tomato, onions, some ketchup and some mustard. Hey, this place didn't even have ketchup. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> it is what it is. You know, you try it. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's what have you. Uh, I remember uh, I would take my mom out and we've tried to, we, we like trying new places. And uh, one was just, oh, uh, it was just, it just, it, it wasn't working at all. So we ended up uh, over at Five Guys grabbing a couple burgers after we had uh, tried out this little restaurant. But I'll tell you what, we've had a, we've had a few uh, really good uh, uh, finds uh, going out and just, hey, you know what, let's try this place. And I'll tell you what, some of them really work out really good. But uh, the blue went, the uh, blue, wing frog uh, i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to pass on that all right well we're gonna hit, hit martin's do a little resupply and we're gonna see if we can find a pizza a little later because uh we're kind of still hungry all righty guys we're just uh walking over here on the uh blue ridge i think it's blue ridge avenue we're headed over to martin's grocery store looking at all these old houses on this uh little street look at that thing that's pretty cool Pretty cool colors. I, I, I can dig that. They even painted their garbage cans. Yeah, the garbage cans all painted up. That's pretty sweet. Couple houses here. But I'll tell you what, they got some big two story houses. I wonder what they look like inside. That's pretty cool. But just walking down to Martin's, they get something neat. Yeah, check that one out. Little rock garden with a waterfall. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Really nice. Edward Green house. Yep. I'll tell you what, they take care of their houses too around here. Yeah, a lot do. of flowers, beautiful flowers. Beautiful. Got the old corner house. And the old barking dog. Every, every, every neighborhood's got a barking dog. Even this one. Yeah, look at that one. That's pretty cool. Yep, a couple of them redone, a couple of them need a little, little thing. Like every one of those houses. Well, look at that, pretty cool. Yep, big old house. That's the first stucco concrete one. But pretty cool. A couple houses headed down to Martin's. Here's one on the corner. That's really cool. I like that white and gray kind of thing. I think that looks pretty crisp. Alrighty. Alright guys, here it is at 715. Hey, and this is what we do. Quality in, three meat lover pizzas. Hey, we're eating good, baby. We're getting ready to smash it. <laughs> we're getting ready to smash three three meat lovers right now. In our skivvies. In our skivvies. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty guys, this is the wrap up for day 86. We're over here at the Quality Inn. We just had a huge pizza. Heck, we had a couple burgers today. Magic had a fabulous... What do they call that thing? Uh, Death by Pork. Death by Pork sandwich. That thing was crazy good. Uh, pork. It was pounded out. Uh, stuffed with sausage and uh, sautéed with apples on a bun with uh, came with a side of uh, gourmet potato salad uh, had a little dill in it, it was delicious very very good sandwich yeah we probably should have opted for uh, the uh, death by pork sandwich ourselves but I'll tell you what Anthony's Pizza 
Hey, that was a good pie. Good pie. Good, very good pie. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Tracker, how was your hike today? It was good. We uh, we we thought it was going to be really short and go into Terrapin Station. Yep. But uh, it ended up we got a shower over there and uh, did a little laundry and we decided to go ahead and push on uh, so that we could get in the town of uh, Front Royal. And uh, kudos to Scott and Lisa at the Mountain Home. Home. Um, went up and talk, talked to Scott and uh, he gave us a ride down to, uh, to town so we could get, uh, get in here to the motel. Yeah, it, they were book solid today, and like Tractor said, Scott and Lisa, they are fabulous people, and I'll tell you, we, we didn't stay there, but he did whatever he could to find us a place, and then he shuttled us down to Front Royal. I mean, just an awesome guy. And he told us that yesterday, he said, I'll do what I can to, to get you get you to a place, because uh, he knew it was booked up. Yep. So, uh, so props to so them guys. Thank yep. you, thank you uh, Scott. Abs absolutely. And uh, Lisa. And when I went up to talk to them this morning uh, and asked them if they could give us a ride, their bed and breakfast at the at the main house, uh, they've been working on it for several years now, and it's open, and it is absolutely beautiful up there. I mean, they have really done a lot of work, uh, and, and it shows. So uh, if you are ever uh, around Front Royal, and would like to stay someplace uh, super nice, uh, go up to the bed and breakfast there, um, and uh, they will treat you treat you good. Yep, that's the Mountain Home in uh, Front Royal. Great, great, great people for, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we, we actually uh, went to Plan C today. But you know what? It all works out. It works out perfect. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just, uh, just, just what happens on the trail. Yeah, we're gonna get a little breakfast in the morning. Get back out. We got some weather coming, but it actually don't seem like it. It actually don't seem like it's gonna be too bad. Yeah, yeah. So I'll be on the trail tomorrow. And Magic, how was your hike today? It was good. It was good. You know, uh, like you said, uh, we had to we had to switch up a little bit our plans, but uh, you know it worked out. Uh, just relaxing here in my Don King. Uh, uh, selection uh, uh, satin uh, satin sheets. I thought that was um, the, uh, the Kathy Ireland. Uh, uh, yeah. Don King? I think it's the Don, Don King. King. Don King selection, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was, you know, every day is good. You mm -hmm. know, just, uh, you know, things happen. We have to switch up, but, uh, you know, we put our heads together and, uh, and, it, and it works out. Roll with the punches. Yep, roll with the punches. You know, that's, that's the AT. I'm kind. I'm kind of disappointed tonight, though. Why is that? I'm the only guy having ice cream. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well, uh, I got a couple glazed, uh, glazed croissant type donuts <laughs> from uh, from Martin's Grocery, uh -huh. which is a, a nice grocery store. I've uh, yep. I haven't heard of them, but um, got an opportunity to shop in one today, and uh, they they've got it going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're uh, they're they're uh, prepared foods and stuff. Look looking really good. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole store looked good. Hey, plus they had uh, Cafe Bustillo, Cafe Con Leche. Oh yeah, right there. If you have that, your ace is in my book. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You know these two, they got to critique every grocery store that they go into. So uh, it's just the way it is. It's so, just the yeah, well, nature well, of the beast. After you work for them for as long as these two guys have. Um, in the grocery business, it's it's to be expected. So uh, I'm just waiting on the time that uh, we we get in an aircraft or something, you know, and then I can I can critique uh, what's going on in there. So well, just, crazy crazy things have happened on this trip. <laughs> we we haven't been able to put them on video, but I'll tell you, Jack, are you gonna head over there to the Jiffy Mart and get a thing of ice cream? I am. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. I'm going over there, and I hope they have some really good good choices because. Um, I'm, I'm ready for some ice cream. Well, on that note, I'll tell you what. We need to go ahead and get our uh, ice cream fix in before we get to bed. Magic? Good night, America. <laughs>